Good morning. Welcome to St. Dominic Church. Thank you for joining us this morning for Mass. We will begin shortly at 9 o'clock. Following this Mass will be Spanish Mass at 9.45. Please share this link with anyone who would like to join us. Thank you. Let's sing 171 today. Thank you for 
used to.
171, verse 2. peace of Christ our Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate uh, many different things. We celebrate all of you who are watching this on, uh, on the web, uh, watching this Mass on the web, because you can't be with us, and yet we are. you are with us and we are with you. That's the miracle of the Eucharist. We pray for our Tongan Catholic community on this feast of St. Peter Chanel. Uh, in many different Tongan Catholic communities across the West Coast. We also pray for uh, our own needs, the needs of our hearts, and ask the Lord to strengthen us. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders, and the scribes. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him altogether. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul 
was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of others. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. There are some subtle uh, shifts of time. Jesus talks about the present and uh, about the past. And it's subtle, but listen for it. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. The bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 6 is full of controversy. And Jesus is talking about the bread that was given in the desert, the mangu, the what's it, who's it, <laughs> the mana, literally mangu, what is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. And uh, he talks about how Moses gave, and God gave the bread in the wilderness, and, and the, the, the people are asking for him to, to continuously give back bread. And he's saying, you have something much greater here. You have the bread of life available to you. Why are you going to go to the what's it, who's it? Okay? I am the bread of life. So it's not the what's it, who's it in the wilderness. It's the who's it, what's it in, the, in reality, the here and the now, Jesus himself. That's difficult for us to get, grab our head around and, and deal with. And we, we see the same difficulty that with Stephen in the Acts of the Apostles. We have the martyrdom of Stephen and we have the, the, the uh, presence of Paul, Saul as he's called at that point, the Hebrew form of his name. Paul was the Roman form of his name, the Greek form of his name. And uh, as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. He died. Mm -hmm. You know, Saul was consenting in his execution. Paul, Saul, Paul, is going to go through a transformation very quickly, very rapidly. And it's not too long after this that he's on the road to Damascus and he's knocked on his keister on his head and basically 
it has to completely shift everything around. In, a, in, in an encounter with the risen Lord, like the other apostles have, and with the same kind of devastating change that occurs. No longer is the past sufficient. The present is more abundant than we ever imagined. Now, the here and the now is, is more imaginative and more powerful than we ever imagined before. And in that here and now, that presence, that Jesus, we are given the bread of life, our sins are forgiven, and we're called to glory. Peace, we pray to the Lord. We pray for, say, our bishop, uh, Francis of Hope, for all who lead us in the faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that we might recognize you, Lord, in the breaking of the bread, that it's the breaking of the kingdom into our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray that we might not, not look for the bread of the past, but the present bread of the presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are pursuing their first communion, those preparing for sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have been affected by the COVID virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of our hearts. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did through the pastoral healing mysteries of remedies of the Eucharist, giving to us the conforming us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Christ spirit. Be, lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is right and tr truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. In Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old, the fulfillment and the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you as for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, 
every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with their angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. And through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave the bre bread to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and, giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. In the mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, our Holy Father Dominic, our sister Catherine of Siena, and Lorenzo Ruiz, and all the saints, and Peter Chanel, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of his family you have, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout. Departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at this passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Then we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, from whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray with confidence of the Father who loves us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your, your spirit. Let's walk for one word with the sign of Christ's peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I believe in the present, in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We have a couple of announcements. Parish staff and volunteers will be calling all registered parishioners during this week just to check in on you and see how you're doing. If you have any needs, St. Dominic's can be helpful there. We will have the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and Rosary every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. 
Archbishop Gomez will lead a prayer service in which we will reconsecrate the United States and Canada to the protection of our Blessed Mother this, this Friday at noon. And that will be on uh, the Archdiocesan web page. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with Lord, your spirit. Lord, may the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.